Uncharted 4 graphics is amazing. You can't really see a high quality game like Uncharted 4 every day. These games are like masterpieces that come once in a while, like <laughs> once in every generation. And the graphics, the level of detail, the attention to every detail in the game is just amazing. The technical quality, the effects that are being used in the game are just amazing. And most of the effects are not even possible in mobile devices because of the rendering differences. So the Uncharted is using DirectX in PC, but in mobile I'm using ES 3.1, which is just OpenGL, where something that we had back in the day in Counter-Strike, if you remember. The difference in rendering is a lot. For example, volumetric fog, volumetric clouds, uh, volumetric shadows are not possible in any volumetric material. Any volumetric mesh is not just possible in OpenGL. So to achieve some high-end quality, we have to actually fake everything. So the shadows are really lower quality in mobile. In every instance, the fog is different, just a sprite-based effect, uh, just some texture that are just animated. The explosions are not volumetric at all. It's, they're not volumetric on Uncharted 4 as well, to be honest. It's just super super expensive but in my game they're a little bit lower quality but I tried my best to achieve the same level of detail the same quality that you can see in a PC game like Uncharted 4 in your mobile devices it's gonna be heavy on your phone I promise you that it's gonna get super super hot in your hands but I believe you'll enjoy the graphics so much the effects that you see in Unreal Engine 4, like fog, uh, clouds, clouds are actually volumetric, or sometimes they're materials, but we have volumetric clouds as well in our game. It's not actually a volumetric cloud system, it's just a material, but the weather system has rain, has a fog, a lot of volumetric fog to be honest, but as I told you everything's fake and we had to just overcome all the difficulties in mobile development just by faking everything. Grass is pretty important, since we are playing the game in a rusty jungle, which is the first level of the game, the grass is a pretty important aspect of the gameplay in this case. We have lots of grass that we have to call them based on the distance out so the rendering time won't be too much. But as you can see in Uncharted 4, they're being called out as well so it's not something new that we're using, it's some of the very important steps of the optimization that needs to be done. The fog is volumetric we can't have that actually if you're using Vulcan in mobile you can have volumetric fog real-time volumetric fog but in our case we couldn't really have that so I had to go ahead and animate some textures uh, some fog textures that can be used as sprites sprites are just some textures some you can just think about it as a paper that's always facing the camera so if the character is rotating around the camera the paper is just rotating around the camera so it's always facing the character so you uh, you get the illusion that there's something volumetric in front of you which is not absolutely not but it looks cool and it fakes everything it makes the game look really really good and it's definitely worth it there has been a new update in the game that has a lot of new animations, a lot of walk animations. As I told you, I really really want to achieve the highest quality possible, something like Uncharted 4, even in the animation part of the game. So I had to go ahead and try to soften all the animations, try to have a lot of procedural animations that react to the character's movement, when the character is walking, when the character is fighting, or if the character is taking a hit, the animation system is always there to guess the next step, to guess the next animation that needs to be played in the game. So the new animation system is definitely worth it, check it out, it's included in the new update so you can just download the game for free and enjoy all the animations 
besides all the great graphics that you can see inside the game. There has been a new character customization that you can actually customize your character, you can change your shoe, you can change your pants, you can change your clothes to Actually, right now you can only change the material, you can only change the color or the material of the pants or clothes or the shoes. But in future, there will be a lot of different clothes, a lot of different abilities that you can actually buy inside the customization menu. But right now, it's just a start of a new system that we are going to have, and I hope you like it. There have been some bugs that people were complaining about and I have been facing a lot of them myself as well. I can easily tell you that the games right now a lot better and the most famous bug that you can see the picture this is a picture some guy sent me through email and I, I really thank him. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without this picture. Thank you honestly. Uh, this bug is fixed finally so you can <laughs> right now see where the character's head is at and how it looks it's pretty important we will have the option to customize the character's face as well so something like changing the mustache changing um, maybe the eyebrows and so on the point is the character's head and face is pretty important and you need to see it inside the game the game is completely free right now you can just go ahead and download the game for free, play it, please if you have any comments, if you have any feedbacks, please help me uh, so I can achieve a better quality, better performance, a more playable game in time. It's gonna take a while, the game development is not easy, let me tell you that, but in the end I can make it happen, I can have something that you all can enjoy and Regardless of the phone, the phone's performance, you can have something that you will enjoy from playing it.